Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Rose Thorne here. Today, I'm reacting to Foodie Beauty's live stream called Hi. So, Foodie is on another live stream as we speak. I have peeked at this Hi live stream, and Foodie is once again doing the tarot. You guys already know how I feel about that. And it's not because I own the tarot. Nobody owns the tarot. It's just one of those things that you really should not do the tarot unless you are willing to put the time in to learn about the tarot, respect the tarot, and know what you're doing. And for those who are looking for information on the tarot, there are tons of YouTube videos explaining the tarot at length. There are web pages. There's all kinds of pages all over the internet. If you're someone and you are interested, genuinely, honestly interested in doing tarot for yourself or other people, there are resources out there to not only get the cards, but learn how to use the cards properly and respectfully. Foodie has access to all of those resources, but I don't know exactly why she's doing the tarot these days. Could it be because she sees a few reactors or people doing the tarot as well? And for some reason, she wants to attach herself to the tarot community. I, I'm not sure. But I think her interest in tarot is not genuine. It's not honest. It's not sincere. It's just one of those things that Maybe she found it interesting for a moment and she decided to pick it up and use it for content like she's done a lot of other things in the past. But in this live stream, she does the tarot and she talks about things. The live stream I'm going to cover is about an hour and 27 minutes, but we're just going to cover a small portion of that. And I'm going to cover the comments first. For those people coming here and you don't want to watch Foodie, I absolutely understand. So we'll start with the comments first. We'll cover a very small portion of her stream, and then we'll just call it a day for this one. So let me just go ahead and share the screen so you guys can see what I see. So there's Foodie. So she's going to sit and talk with us and do the tarot, and I'm going to get my thoughts on that. But let's go to the comments. Let's see what the people have to say, because the people do deserve to have a voice, don't they? Yes, they do. CG says, gluttony is her constant arc, crestfallen and robbed. No, they don't have the jumbo size here, I wish, because the two normal size are just not good enough, guys. Uh, at 40 minutes, what is this crap? Would happily just inhale and grace fried food. Oops, excuse me. Uh, without a brake pedal for hours. So she's ordering a bunch of food and she's complaining about the size of the containers I take, I take it. A foodie, a normal size portion is just fine. You don't need to stuff yourself to the gills in order to be satisfied. Uh, your portions are completely out of control, ma'am. Uh, Nico says, don't get mad at Mr. Coffee. He just changed his mind, that's all like you do every 30 minutes and find someone taking you on a public at first date for drinks, dinner, movies, or whatever you want to meet anyone nice. You know, whether it's Mr. Coffee or whoever, everybody has the right to change their mind about a date, meeting up with somebody, having a hookup. Everybody's allowed to say no at any time. Anybody. And if she's over there catfishing people, lying about her appearance, lying about who she is and what she wants, I would think whoever's going to meet Foodie, it would be wise for them to say no. Because honestly, they don't know what they're getting themselves into until they get there. And then once they find out, they got a right to run away. Monica says, LOL, Heather called her out and now Foodie wants to dig those heels in. No crown being lost on her watch. Well, here's the thing. The crown that she thinks she has, she doesn't have anymore. It's halfway off her head as we speak. You know, it's been slipping off her head for the longest. 
and people have been warning her, people have been telling her, look, change up your content, be interesting, work on your content, work on yourself. She don't want to hear it because she thinks she can just get away forever with doing nothing and getting paid big bucks for it. But she's finding out that trends come and go, people's interest in certain things come and go. And if you don't work hard to keep people's interest, it will go to someone or something else. I'm glad that Heather called her out. I'm glad she did. She called Heather boring. Heather shot back. I did my react to her response video. But foodie, a lot of reactors are talking about Heather. But besides Heather, there are other people that we're considering that we're looking around at. I'm doing my ambiance over here. I'm going to be doing gaming content. And soon I'm going to start doing World of Warcraft content, which I'm really excited about. I'm so excited for that. So excited. I miss playing World of Warcraft. Y'all know I'm a gamer over here and I love World of Warcraft. I've been a player for 11 years and I could not play it for about a year or so because my computer sucked, would not let me do it. Now I've got a gaming computer and it is on. I'm so happy. I'm so happy about that. Yes, for the horde. <laughs> but going back to you, booty, going back to you, Miss Ma'am, listen. People are getting bored of your shit. They're getting absolutely bored to tears. And you have the reaction community to thank for the people that still come to your channel, for the hard work that we've been doing to keep you interesting. But girl, we're working overtime and we can't work no more. You're not giving us anything to make interesting, okay? Sitting in front of your phone and eating and we're in the same clothes day after day after day i mean what can we do with that not much not freaking much so if you go the route of amberlyn reed whose fault is that not ours yours it's your channel your content you decide whether you success or fail i'm sorry whether you succeed or fail and you've been failing for a while and you're even at the point where the life support, which is the reaction channels, we can't pump, pump no more blood into the dead corpse of your channel, girl. We just can't. All of this laziness has run its course. So either get off your big butt and do something or not, or not, your choice. But we can't work any harder over here. We, there's not much more we can do. You hear me? There's, you know, if you were on our side of the monitor, you get it. The obsessions that you have are your obsessions, but they're no one else's obsessions. And that's why people don't find them as interesting as you do. And that's why they're bored. You have to find things that are not your obsessions to talk about, to give to your audience. Find something, anything, find something you're passionate about besides food and matter. Please give us something or we'll go where it's interesting and we'll talk about that. George has left the building, says, save your time. She's moving again. Bought tarot cards to put next to the weed butter maker plus two foot long glass bong drives and eats. What? So she bought another bong. She had one of those really tall bongs and she couldn't use it properly because it was just too big and clumsy for her short arms. So she bought another one. Foodie, why? You don't even inhale, girl. So she went out and bought more tarot cards. Foodie, you don't even know how to use the first deck you bought. You're not even respectful to it. What are you doing buying tarot decks? It, listen. If you're going to spend the 15, 20 bucks on a tarot deck, then take an hour and learn about the cards, learn how to cleanse your cards, learn how to read them properly. If you're going to do this, do it right. You know, make sure that when you don't, when you do your readings, you're not messed up on drugs or drunk or anything like that, because that will mess up your reading. I, I don't know where you got the idea that you were a tarot card reader. 
but since you're gonna do it, do it right. You hear me? At least do it right. And as far as Foodie moving again, she's been saying that, that she's moving. I don't know if she's actually moving or she's just talking about it to have some kind of content to talk about on her channel. It's one of those things, guys, where you just wait and see. If she moves, then she'll be in another location, then we'll know she was telling the truth. Until then, just consider it a lie. Laura says, it is really sad to see someone destroy themselves like this. It is sad. But it's her choice. So since it's her choice, no sympathy. I got no sympathy for somebody who says their life is miserable and yet they don't make a single move to make it any better. Summer says it doesn't matter where you live because your location is not the cause of any of your problems. You refuse to deal with your issues and get real help and until you do that, nothing will ever change. In my opinion, one if not the biggest problems you have is no direction Nothing to do all day and no friends to socialize with. You have to get out into the world and be productive and meet real people. Your life has been alone talking at a screen. She does need to get out. She needs to do other things. She needs to look beyond her phone for entertainment. And I would like to give a slight correction to you, Summer. One of her biggest problems is her obsession and addiction to attention of all of her addictions that's number one getting attention being in the spotlight at all times no matter what that's one of her biggest addictions and number two and number three are food and matter but attention and wanting attention are, is her biggest strongest addiction and the addiction to attention, it's related to number two and number three. You know, she's just got to get out of that headspace of everybody's got to be paying attention to me all the time. And if they are, I'm worth something. And if not, then I'm not worth anything. She needs to get away from that and just understand that people got things to do. They got other things they got to focus on besides her. She can't be the center of the universe. You know, people, people got to move around and do things. Uh, Crazy Blonde says, anyways, a whole bunch of guys want to meet me in Gatineau. Uh, excuse me, sir. It's not you they want to meet. It's that image you display on a dating site with 52 filters they're actually interested in. Try something new and edgy. It's called honesty. I'm sure it's going to be a bit scary. To you at first all new things are but once you get the hang of it it'll become easier and easier for you imagine a world where you don't have to look silly because you can't remember what lie you told to who the truth never changes and you never forget it it's really that easy great comment grace crazy blonde and you know what you know what the shame of it is foodie when you catfish people when you are sitting there working double overtime to make a fake phony image of yourself in pictures, on Instagram, on YouTube. You know, you, you're single and you're ready to mingle, but you're not being honest about yourself. You're not comfortable with yourself. So you make a fake phony image and you put it out there to the world looking for any fish that might want to bite because you're catfishing so hard and so much and to such an extreme. Every catfish. Yeah, you might get immediate attention on whatever fake phony image you put out there, but there's always that point with whoever is interested in you, they ask the question, where can we meet? When can we meet? I want to meet you in person. And because you lied about yourself, you got to cut them loose because you know you lied. And if they see you in person, they're going to know that you're a liar and they're going to call you out on it. They're going to confront you on it. So what is the point of lying? What is the point of being a liar, whether it's online or in person? Eventually, lies catch up to you and the truth comes out. You sit there and you tell the internet, I'm 400, 500 pounds. I'm big, beautiful me. I don't care what people think. Well, apparently you do 
because you have yet to be honest about what you really look like and who you really are. You just simply come up with an image or a version of yourself that you think would be appealing for the short term, but then you're that person that you want to be involved in a relationship, you want to be in love, but guess what, foodie? Part of love, part of relationship is, is truth and honesty and sincerity. If you try to start things out on lies, it doesn't translate very well and it doesn't last very long. If you're really proud about yourself, then be yourself. Whatever that may be, just come forward and say, this is me, love me for me or not, but this is the real me. But I know you won't do it because you know deep down that you have a horrible, rotten, putrid soul. You've got bad health and you are deathly afraid of being rejected. You can't take rejection. You don't want anybody telling you, no, I'm not interested. That's why you make this fake phony image of yourself and you put it on Instagram. You put it on these dating sites because you don't want people seeing the real you. You don't want them rejecting the real you. So you hide behind something fake and phony. But you and I both know that that's only going to take you so far, isn't it? It's only going to take you so far. You might get some attention for the, for the short term, but there's no long term ever. Because at some point, that person's going to say, I want to meet. And you know deep down you can never meet anybody you've catfished. Because once they get a look at the real you, they run the other way. They run the other way because they got lied to. Uh, Raggy says, move all you want. There will always be days you want to hide away, stay inside, be antisocial, eat and smoke because that's being human. That's having certain moves, certain days, moving away won't change that. Yeah, you know what? It doesn't matter, Booty, if you're at the villa, if you're 2,000 miles away, 2 million miles away, who you are, what you are will follow you to whatever location you go to. Wherever you go, there you are. And if you if you got all kinds of issues and luggage inside your head, if you've got 2,000 pounds of, of dead emotional weight inside your soul, wherever you go, you take it with you. So the best thing to do is to clean up the mess. And that way, wherever you go in life, whether you're moving or not, you'll be lighter. And you'll be happier. Right now, you've got clutter inside your head, clutter outside of your head that you just don't want to clean up. And I don't see the sense of hanging on to any of it. Clean up your mess, ma'am. Your life is messy. Clean it up. And let's see. Uh, Sabrina says, how can you ask for a gentleman when you burp and chew with your mouth open and wake up at all hours? Listen, Linda, love yourself or find someone just like you. Yeah, you know what? I've always found that funny about Miss Booty. I've always found that a bit odd, that she is the way that she is inside and out, but yet she isn't looking for a man who is a lot more like her. Never have I heard her say, I'm looking for a guy that's a lot like me, who might be morbidly obese. Uh, eats a lot, burps, farts, all that. She's never looking for that guy. Someone she'd have a lot of ink and stuff in common with that might accept her for more of who she is naturally. No, she's always looking for a guy that's fit, trim, Instagram model, uh, six pack abs. She's always looking for the opposite. It's almost like she's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? She's got a prejudice against people of a bigger size as far as men. So you want men to accept you for being a bigger woman, but yet bigger men, you're not going to accept them. Why is that, Fodi? Why is that? Is it, is it an arm candy thing where you want a guy who looks a certain way to kind of make you feel better about yourself? Look, you want a guy who's Mr. Perfect, but what do you bring into the table? I'm not saying smaller men can't be attracted to bigger women. They absolutely can. 
but your manners are atrocious. Your attitude is stinky. You're rude. You're selfish. You're narcissistic. You're manipulative. I mean, who wants to deal with all that? Nobody. 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 Let's see. Uh, let's see. There's some different comments here. Uh, Ross says, you don't take showers for days, living house full of garbage and driving car like that. There's not enough perfume for covering the smell of your life. Cleaning one of those at least. Maybe your smell is the reason you won't get a second date. You know what, foodie? Never mind your weight. Never mind the pounds on your body. If you want a guy to get romantic with you, put his hands on you, put his lips on you, wherever he may put his lips, you got to be clean. You got to be clean. And you don't need a bunch of lush products to be clean. A $2 bottle of soap and a washcloth will do just fine. Clean it all up. Take a shower every day. And clean up your vag, girl. It's sick. You want a girl to you want a guy to get romantic, kiss you, cuddle you, hold you. You got to be clean. Nobody feels romantic being next to a person that smells bad. That's not me fat shaming you. I would say the same thing about somebody who's 120 pounds. If you smell, you smell. But if you want a guy to have romantic, loving feelings, he can't be distracted by the smell and the stank of your body. You hear me? Fix that. Let's see. Uh, Susan says, trying to compete with Heather Colonna, I see. You know, Heather and Foodie are different people. They got different, they have different personalities. They're two different individuals. Foodie should just focus on being herself and not trying to compete with other people. She'd be a lot better off. Uh, JC says, you finally said you are disgusted with yourself. Damn. She's always disgusted with herself. Maybe this was just the first time she said it out loud. Uh, CSM says, even her car is nasty. I just don't get it. And she laughs when she shows it. Yeah, I mean, that, that's just foul. What makes it even more gross is that you got to think about your car. OK, it's 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 a very small enclosed space that sits out in the sun. And if you got anything, I mean, anything in your car that's food or whatever else, if you got anything in your car that has a smell. And it, it, it sits in the car and cooks and that smell gets all through your car. That just makes it extra gross because there ain't nowhere for that smell to go. And see everybody talking about the corn dogs. Uh, everybody asking about the filters. Uh, site says tarot cards are not going to help you. No, they're not. She's trying to use the tarot cards to manifest men and money into her life. That's not what they're for, foodie. It's not what they're for. Gypsy J says, I do tarot. Just stop. I second that. I do tarot too. Foodie, stop. You don't know what you're doing. And worse, you don't care to know. You have no respect for the cards. Freaking stop. Stop. PB says, why are you copying Heather with the tarot cards? You don't have a clue. Desperate for content, so you steal from other creators. Foodie's always looking around for new ideas. She's always borrowing things from people. You know, she, she's so lazy, she doesn't want to make her own ideas that are unique to her. She's always looking at other people. What are they doing? I think I'll do that too. 
And yet she calls us the content thieves. She calls us the leeches. Girl, come up with your own ideas for content. Uh, Ilora says, first, you need to learn how to use the tarot cards to gussy and up is not just a British term, it's old slang. If you're going to do drugs, don't do it while you're online. So was she high while doing her tarot reading today? That's another reason why her readings are going to be messed up because she's never sober. Never sober. So that's it for the comments. Let's get into the actual reaction itself and see what Miss Foodie has to say. Oh my God, Vicky, I'm so sorry. If you need more time, don't ever explain. I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> And feel free to friggin' email me. Was he sick? Oh I tip, I know. Hi, Norma Jean. Hey, Tien, I'm looking good, Jamie. What does that mean, gussying up? Oh. Rosalia. Tessa, wow. What happened in my mouth? I don't know what I'm happened. So sorry, sending prayers. Yes, prayers, love, and hugs. I went and made peace with me die from drinking. Oh, no. Shit. Well, we're most definitely your free, Vicky. Moving well, now, really. Hey, Grant, sorry for your loss, too. Um, we're going to clean, too. I have to force my ass. I stole this from the cafe last time. All right, let's do my cards. Wisdom. That is that another deck or is that the same one? It looks like a new one. And tarot. Tarot, tarot. Yes, you fat idiot. You fat idiot. Did you bother to cleanse the cards before you get started? Are you doing the reading high at all? Probably. Foodie, when are you going to learn? Doing the cards does not mean they manifest things into your life. You want to manifest things into your life, you've got to put the intention out there to the universe, and then you got to put action behind the intention. That's how things happen. You can't just use the cards to, like, uh, like pennies in a fountain to wish for things. Let's do this. We're not getting my head tattooed. Hi, Lena. Let's do some tarot. Yeah, the kid just been like reading. No, you haven't. The edibles and my medication. That's a possibility. Oh, all right. So, what do I do? Do I Wait, you just said you've been doing some reading. Now you're saying, now what do I do? So you lied. Because if you did some reading, you'd know what to do. Just like pick a card? If you were did some reading, you would know what to do. So you lied to your people. Like with my intuition? You don't have intuition. Girl, you can't even do intuitive eating. What makes you think you can read the cards intuitively? I'm going to pick. Hold it up to my art. No, that's not how you do it, dummy. Besides, holding it up to your heart, first you'd have to have one in order for that to work. Oh, shit, it's upside down. Ah! 
<laughs> Oops. What is that? Oh, Lord. You know, I don't, you know, I'm, I just sat there and watched Booty. She just picked up the cards. Those of you that are tarot card readers, did you hear or see her shuffle the cards? All my tarot card readers, what do you do when you, before you start a reading? You shuffle the cards. I didn't hear her shuffle them. She just took them straight out of the box. You got to shuffle them. You got to get your energy on the cards. You got to focus on what you're, you know, opening yourself up to. She didn't shuffle them. She just picked a card off the top of the deck. And it looks like, hold on a minute. Let me take a look. I got to blow this up. Ace of coins. Ooh, and it's upside down. Upside down. This is ace of coins. Upside down. Ace of coins. Upside down means what? Shit. It means reversed. Dandy morning, Agent Boot. <laughs> The mission today, you and Agent St. Pete's 41 West Flood of the UK. Jamie Carpenter says, I don't think this is how tarot is done. No, it ain't. Like I said, she didn't shuffle the cards. She didn't cleanse the cards before she got started. She didn't wash her hands. No shuffling the cards. She just picked a card up and she held it to her chest all dramatically like she's making a wish in a wishing well. It's not how you do it. Dummy. I him to take up the groomer cool. What? Who is that? Sandy, I don't know what you're talking about. But thanks for the super chat, I guess. I mean the aces. This ace the lady of the ace reaches from her internal desires to the cup of bliss being offered by the creator. Will you allow yourself to do better than your family of origin? The ace presents love offered and being fully committed to the moment. Are you being ruled by your brain or is your soul reaching away from the roots of your past? Now, what's the reverse meaning? Come on, foodie. What's it reverse? All right. Ace of coins. So this is ace of coins. The card of elegant receipt. So if it's reversed, if it's upside down, it means its original meaning is just the opposite. That's not good, I know. Nope. And even though that's not my deck, I don't own that deck. The Ace of Coins, it's reversed. I'm taking that as your cup of plenty is not so bloody right now. You're going to have money problems or you are having money problems. Ace of Coins, reversed. An inheritance is coming to you and will present in physical form. So upside down is a missed opportunity, a challenge, discontentment, financial loss. Yep. Boom. There it is. When you experience material gain, is it seemingly from happenstance? What comes from above needs the grounding of the red chakra. This is your new foundation. Breathe and stand in the frequency of what you will create. I also take that card if she actually did a shuffle. Let's just say this was an actual reading. The Ace of Coins reversed. Think about it. The, the picture that I'm getting in my mind is taking a cup that is normally full and dumping it, like dumping it towards the ground. Your 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 the plenty is spilling out towards the ground. You're you're losing your prosperity, and that's what she's been doing with Natter. 
is that she had a cup of plenty, but because she's so wrapped around this loser, Natter, and she won't let him go, her cup of plenty is spilling over and she's, she's, she's experiencing a tremendous amount of loss. You are already a manifester where you choose to be a creator. Okay, the chakra relates to the growth of your personal root. This may present as an untapped skill or personality trait. So I have a missed opportunity. Hi, golden girl. Hey, Sam. Sam. Yeah. This next one. What is it? Ace of Cups. You know, Foodie's not shuffling. I don't hear, we can't see her hands. We don't know if she's just picking whatever card she wants from the deck. You can't see the cards flat on the table in a spread. She's just picking whatever cards out of the deck. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Okay, Ace of Cups, upside. I had this one upside down just a minute ago. Okay, all right, let's read this more seriously. It's not going away. The Ace of Cups. Wait, was it the Ace of Cups I had last time? No, it was the Ace of Coins. No, it was the Ace of Coins. So this is the Ace of Cups. Where's the Ace of Cups? Look it up, dummy. Ace of Cups. The root of wanton abandon. Mm -hmm. The Lady of the Ace reaches from her internal desires to the cup of bliss being offered by the Creator. Will you allow yourself to... Jamie Carpenter says, I thought a lot of shuffling was involved. Yeah. Anybody that's come to my live streams, when I will do my tarot card readings, y'all y'all on my channel, you know, I'll sit there and I'll shuffle and shuffle and shuffle because I want them to be properly shuffled. I haven't heard her shuffling. I did not hear the sound of the cards being shuffled. She's, she's not shuffling her cards. She's not putting her energy on the cards. So therefore, how can her reading be right? Do better than your family of origin. Chakra message. This ace represents love offered and being fully committed to the moment. Are you being ruled by your brain or is your soul reaching away from the roots of your past? An upside down ace of coins, which means lost opportunity and loss of income. Yeah, I'm Northumberland and I have an ups upright ace of cups, which means Okay, Lena says, from my understanding, you need to shuffle and then close your eyes, touch the deck of the cards, and ask your question in your mind, and channel your energy into it. Yeah, that's how a lot of people do it. You got to allow yourself to be up to be open, and you got to focus. She, booty's not about focusing. I don't know what that means. Then why the f are you doing the cards, dummy? For male attention. You need to shuffle it and then close your eyes, touch the deck of cards, and ask your question in your mind. Well, all right. But I just want to see what it would pick haphazardly. You know? No, you didn't. You were looking for all the good cards. Wouldn't it be a shock if you got the tower card? Because it's like, you just go, like, intuitively, I look at the cards and it's You don't, uh, you don't know a damn thing about intuition. You know nothing about intuition. You know, beyond the tarot cards, you know nothing about intuition. Everybody is born with intuition. It's just stronger in some people than others. Some people are more open to their intuition than others. You don't pay attention to your intuition, booty. You're not open to that. You're all about your impulses and letting them control you and your obsessions and your addictions control you. So how can you be in touch with your intuition 
to use it for tarot card reading or something else. That one would intuitively. You don't know how to do that. <laughs> yeah, it could be my past love. Okay, one more and then we're gonna go. I gotta go clean the car and get groceries so much too. And pull those. We need to get pull those. <laughs> Okay. Eight of Cups. Hold it. To this person, Corn Dog Queen, saying, Where did you get these devil cards? You know what? I'm, that pisses me off. I am so tired, so tired of hearing people say that when you do the tarot, it's a sign of the devil, it's a sign of Satan. You're working with bad spirits, you're working with evil spirits. No. You're not. No, you're not. You're just simply doing a bunch of cards. You lay them out in front of you. You pick up things intuitively. And that's it. There's no communing with evil spirits. There's no communing with devil spirits or Satan. It's just cards. And anybody out there saying that there are a... A, a, a tool of the devil. They're a tool of Satan. They're unholy. You're only saying that because you are not informed. And you're making a judgment based on what you don't know. It's wise to be in the know and seek out information before you pass judgment on anything or anyone. That's like for anyone who looks at anybody who's pagan or Wiccan and saying that witches are devil worshipers. We're not. I'm Wiccan. Hello, blessed be. I don't talk to the devil. I don't talk to Satan. Wicca, witchcraft, paganism, it's not about conjuring or talking to evil spirits or evil entities or bad energy. Magic is about balance. Tarot cards are just things you can use that you're picking up messages from the cards, like what, what they're trying to tell you, but it has nothing to do with negative spirits. But it just, it pisses me off when people say, oh, they're devil cards, like they're bad. No, they're not. No, they're not. Can we just put that to bed? No, they're not. I do the cards quite frequently. I've never once talked to or communed with or hung out with or party with the negative spirits, the evil spirits, not interested in those. I don't want anything like that attaching itself to me. Let's move forward. What is this thing? Oh, the eight. Here we go. Eight of Cups. The card of a new reality. There is a deliriously intoxicating energy that surfaces when one has created their dream. Even if you've loved it, the striving is finished. Um, you know what, Foodie? Because you're sitting here doing a fake ass tarot reading on your stream and trying to come off like some tarot reader. You know what I'm going to do today? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get myself ready. And I'm going to do a reading on you today. That's right. I'm going to do a tarot card reading video. And for those of you that are on my channel, you're ask, you're probably going to want to ask me, why don't you do it in a live chat? You've not done it one in a while, Rose. I'll explain why. Because... When you read the tarot cards, any kind of distractions, it kind of pulls you away from what you're doing. Don't get me wrong. I love doing the tarot card readings for all of you on my channel, but I just want to do this tarot card reading on Foodie 
with no distractions so that I'm picking up all the messages loud and clear and I'm not being distracted. So foodie, you're getting a tarot card reading girl. I'm gonna do a video on you. I'm gonna let my cards speak to me. See what they have to say. I'll see what the cards have to say about you today. Although I will say the last several readings have not been good. Have not been good at all. No good news, I'm afraid. But since you're over here trying to be a tarot card reader, I'm going to do a reading today. Let's see what they have to say. You have created something from that first cup. Enjoy what you have created before starting again. Chakra message. You have reached a conclusion and may not yet have imagined anything beyond it. It is okay to enjoy what you have accomplished by seeking spiritual solace. You are not indication. Yeah, I should do one for you guys. You are not necessarily being unappreciated. It may simply be the time to be you again after a long journey. Keywords, splendor, expansion, resonance, repetition, karma, departure. <clears throat> Meditation, sit quietly, imagine posing as the woman on the earth. You know what, Fodi? As far as the tarot, this is how I describe the tarot. The tarot, all that the tarot does is it tell you things you already know or you already suspect. All it does is it puts things that you already know in front of your face in a storyboard of sorts. And you read the storyboard and you pick up feelings and messages from those pictures, like just thoughts just come to you when you're open. You don't need the tarot cards to tell you things. You already know what you need to do to help yourself, to help your channel. You don't need the cards for that. You already know what you need to know. It's just a matter of, do you want to put what you know into action or don't you? If you don't want to, if you don't, if you're not going to, that's fine. It's your life but you already know what to do. The cards don't have to give you much needed messages. You already know. It's just that you don't want to do anything to improve yourself. You don't want to improve your life. You don't want to make your channel better. You are too happy just coasting along on the way things are right now. Even though the way things are right now continue to get worse, your money's going down, you're stressing out about that, the messages are coming in loud and clear. You just don't want to hear them. So you can sit there and do the tarot cards all you want. You can lay out a million spreads. The cards aren't going to tell you anything new. You know what to do. Question is, are you going to do anything about it? This is some, someone who has created and achieved her intention. In your mind's eye, see yourself experiencing personal enjoyment from an accomplishment. Contemplation. Prepare to reach for your dreams. You can and will bring them to fruition. No, you ain't. Because, okay, let me put it to you guys this way. Let's just say you're somebody and you find a wishing well. And you toss a penny into a wishing well saying, I want a million dollars. And then you go home and you do nothing. How is that million dollars going to come to you if you do nothing? If you don't go out into the world and do things to maybe bring the million dollars to you? That's foodie. So she wants love. And she wants greater financial success. And she wants her life to improve. Wanting things does not make them come to you. Does not make things happen. It's when you want something and then you open up the roads and avenues for things to come to you that maybe you get the chance for those things to actually come to fruition. Think about the word fruition, foodie. Think about part of that word, fruit. How do you get fruit? You plant a tree. You plant a seed. You water it. You nurture it. The plant grows bigger and bigger until it can bear fruit. And then once it bears fruit, you reap the reward of the good fruit. 
But if you want fruit, if you don't plant a seed, if you don't nurture it, no fruit for you, ma'am. None. None. You want fruit? You got to plant the seeds. You got to nurture them. You got to care about them. Got to water them. Day after day after day. You got to keep up with it. You can't be lazy or else the seed's going to die. You want a positive harvest? You got to put in positive work. No shortcuts. Okay. So this is me. What's that? What's the card? Eight of cups. She's pulling all cups. Oh, that... <laughs> That is such a great thumbnail. Hold on, y'all. Can I just take a second to get my thumbnail? <laughs> Foodie, you're looking like a beauty these days. That is such a great look. That's so great. That is a picture-perfect moment, ma'am. I couldn't have planned it better myself. Looking good there, Foodie. Looking good. That's my thumbnail right there. Do I look like her? No. All right. Let's bring my dreams to fruition. No. Oh, Missy Moo, it's from Kohl's. So are we going out to the car? That blue door holds the solution in the box. Is she cleaning out? What is she cleaning out her car? I don't doesn't. Know. They're sending me. I, I got to get a replacement card. So I have a lot of cash in my wallet. Wait. Is she getting food? Order fusion dish. Oh, she's eating her corn dogs. I don't even care. I don't even care to see her eat. <laughs> I don't want to see her eat. Maybe I should move. <laughs> Mystery Maya. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cream corn with strawberries. Always talking about freaking food. He loves corn. What made us decide to move again? A mixture of things. I need to go with Tim Hortons. Where's the Tim Hortons around here? That stinks. There's Tim Hortons all the way down there. Hard to go to Starbucks. What do you guys think? My mind will be singing. Let's go to Tim Hortons. What is this? Creamy maple pecan. You know what, guys? I'm going to cut it off here. Because what is she doing? She's running around getting food. Does anybody out there care about that? I don't. I don't care to see her go from place to place looking for food not interesting to me i'm sure it's not interesting to you guys either so we're going to make this reaction video just a little bit short hope that's okay with everybody because she's on another live right now and i'm going to go get ready and i'm going to do a tarot card reading on miss foodie tarot card reading on foodie incoming y'all i'm going to get ready so i can do it anyway thanks everybody for being here with me and spending some time with me and watching my react video on my little corner of YouTube. I really appreciate everybody being here as part of my channel. And I hope that everyone watching this react video, you have a very wonderful, productive, healthy day. Y'all take care of yourselves and please have a good one. Bye-bye.